What's up guys, it's Minx. In today's video, we're going to be uh, doing a little bit of an addendum. I guess this is the second video, not today's video. Today's second video um, is going to be an addendum to the last video. In the last video, we did some fixing of some bugs that I didn't, like, I caught on but didn't really realize how to fix in the moment, so I fixed them in that video. We added some stuff to the menu, and then we used an algorithm to determine what is the best enemy to spawn based on the input. So if you do a command or you go into the uh, go into the menu, and when we add it and put in, hey, I want to spawn this enemy, if there's a typo, uh, it should still get you the best spawning uh, spawnable enemy based on what you typed. So today we're going to take that a step further. Um, when we make this, it's we expect to use the technical name because that's what the game code expects. You know, I can't compare officially like i can't just uh, do a one-to-one -one comparison of what we type to the uh you know the display name to the uh, uh technical enemy name that the game has uh without like dictionaries and lists and stuff like that so what we're going to do is we're going to still compute the string difference but we're also going to be checking against a dictionary that goes from uh so we're going to check which uh key inside of this dictionary meets the most and see if that key also has a, uh, you know, so is the score of this key lower than the score of this, uh, of something from this list? If so, point to the option from this, uh, uh, from this dictionary. What It'll make sense in a bit. So let's go, let's go ahead and write the dictionary. So this is going to be an internal static dictionary of string string. And it's going to be called, I'm just going to call it uh, enemy display names equals new dictionary string string. And we can actually do an initializer here. Really? Thank you. So inside of here, just to really quickly do like a thing here, just so we can have it. Um, okay. So all the enemy types, I'm going to go ahead and put these and paste them over on this side. And actually, let's just go ahead and copy this. We need at least one of each, so jester, girl, or if we do actually need them, for example, we may not need one for the spider or for the jester, but we're going to have them for now. I'm just going to paste a few of these. We'll do that many for now. And I'm just going to paste these over. And this is just from a list that was printed out when I uh, spawned all the enemies. This gets the official, like, quote-unquote, spawn name from their spawnable enemy with rarity thing when they're added to that list. We have the blob. We have the centipede, we have the flower man, we have the hoarding bug, which is different than the centipede, we have the lasso man, we have the puffer, we have the spring, we have the nutcracker, this is one I don't foresee having issues, we have the earth leviathan. So if you type in Leviathan, you're still going to get Leviathan, even if you misspell it. Um, we have the Mouth Dog. We have the Baboon Hawk. I'm surprised I need a uh, few more of these. And we have the Docile Locust Bees, which I don't think we're going to be spawning any of these. I mean, if I guess if a player really wanted to. We have the Mantic Coil, which is the bird. And we have the Forest Giant which is the forest keeper or giant. So what is a couple things that may, uh, you know, be referred to as a jester? I could say Jack in the box. Uh, for the girl, I could say demon. I could also say something like copy this one and say ghost. Bunker spider. I'm just probably going to type in spider for this one. I don't think we need to be any more specific. Crawler could also be referred to as a thumper. Thumper. Blob. I could type in goo. Um, and apparently it has another more technical name. I doubt anyone would be calling it this, but they may. Um, if it's goo, then it could be a high grow deer. Or high, yeah, high grow deer. Um, the centipede. We could do like face hugger. I don't know if there's any other good name for it. Um, we got the flower man. This one would be a bracken. And you can do, like I did for the girl here, I did two other options, the demon and the ghost. You could have multiple for each. Um, and the other thing we could do is like load this from like a diction or from a uh, JSON file. It's like, hey, here's this stuff or here's this list of things I want to add. You could even add like a 
thing like in the menu say hey add this dictionary or like add this item i want to call this this um hoarding bug we could probably call loot bug as well i'm gonna leave uh you know that's fine lasso we probably don't even need one i'm gonna get rid of that puffer is the puffer called anything else let's see spore lizard here we go spore lizard spring uh so the spring man could be a coil head coil head i'm also gonna just do coil we don't need to do like a bunch of different iterations like of with a space without a space because we are using the compute string difference it's going to find us what is literally technically the closest option like it may not seem like it, but it is a uh, nutcracker. Um, I'm going to leave as nutcracker earth Leviathan. I'm going to type in worm because I think uh, so it's the earth Leviathan. And I think that's what it's called. Uh, yeah, officially uh, mouth dog. I'm going to type in eyeless dog. I think if you were to type in either of these, you'd end up getting it anyway. Uh, baboon hawk. Um, that's what everyone knows it as. So I don't feel bad about leaving it like this and getting rid of it. But I could also just type in like bird. Uh, but this is also a bird. Uh, so, you know, make your decision. I'm going to give this one bird. And then I'm going to get rid of the docile locust. Or we could just. Yeah, we're going to get rid of this one. And then forest giant could also be referred to as the forest keeper. Keeper. So we have forest uh, keeper, forest giant. Um, and I think this is good. Uh, the reason for this, again, is someone might not realize that the thumper is called the crawler here. Um, so if I, you know, you could type in crawler or thumper and get get it. Uh, that's the purpose of this dictionary. So now how do we use it? Because we, you know, we have this dictionary, but how do we use it? So we have compute string difference here. Uh, or excuse me, not compute string difference. We have get best enemy match. And smallest difference equals current amount. Um, so this is great. Uh, what we want to do is, so we've checked to see, you know, if the smallest difference is in here. So if we're typing in something that aligns with this, uh, we can essentially move down and essentially iterate through the dictionary. So iterate through a dictionary. So now we just go ahead and say for each. So it'd be key value pair, and I do string string pair and all enemies. Mm. Oh, it's checking all enemies. Enemy display names. So for each of those, um, we want to say we want to check the grab this and we don't want to check uh, you know we can't really check this so what we want to check this against so name is name and pair is are the uh, thing we want to check it against is pair dot key And then we can essentially do the same thing here. So if current amount is less than smallest difference, then smallest difference equals current amount and result equals. So we do want this. We want to get the uh, all enemies dot index of. Hmm. Then we have to figure out, oh, we're going to have to loop through them. Shoot. This is going to suck. Good thing we're doing this here. Um, man, I should have made that a method. So to get it, or we're going to have to loop through each one. So for each uh, enemy. If enemy dot enemy type dot enemy name equals pair dot value then we say result equals oh we're just no hold on we don't need to do this because we're returning a string so we would just say result equals pair dot value my apologies 
result equals pair dot value. So now uh, what we can do is test this out the same way we tested it before. This uh, all this is doing. So when we're going through all the like list of enemies and all enemies, uh, we could like treat it like a list that goes above here. All the enemies are listed down whatever and then we're just continuing down the road here that's all this really is um so it's pretty straightforward excuse me pretty straightforward so um let's go ahead and do that same thing with our quick menu manager patch and i'm actually going to copy it over from my notepad here from when i wrote it uh, last time so let's do this and we're going to leave those but i'm going to copy another set here or paste it again and let's take a look at some good like possibilities so firstly, I want to check. I want to check Jack in the Box. That's the one I really want to check. I doubt anyone would straight up type that out, but Jack in the Box. Uh, that should definitely come out as good. Um, we would still expect it to pull out a Jester, uh, but I want to check like Demon Misspelt. Where is this? I keep here. Let's put this next to it. Let's try like uh, Demon. Uh, let's try High Grove. There we go, a Hygro Deer, which is a goo thing. Um, and I want to try, because another one that's really big is the Coil for the Spring Head. So we're going to try like a, um, we're going to try Spawn Coil. So we'll just type in Coil like that. And if our code is good, we should expect to get a lot of, uh, uh, so I'll say, prints out. Now I'll say, uh, really? Crawler, uh, Jester, Girl, Forest Giant, and this should print out Jester, this should print out Girl, this should print out, what is that, what would that print out? That would print out a Blob, Blob, and then a Spring. So that's what we expect to see printed out. So let's save, build, let's bring out our uh, plugin, toss it inside of our plugins folder, and let's test out with Lethal Company. We'll also be able to see if there's any errors or issues with what we've written. I'm confident in what I've called it. However, the other thing I want to note is maybe it's uh, we should have done like a check against if they were uh, valid. I'm not too worried about it. So we could do like a contain if a uh, if contains check. We could get uh, the index of or whatever, but I'm not too worried about it. So we'll go ahead and land. So I actually fixes the enemy spawns. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, escape. And we got it. So let me bring this over. And let's take a look at the code. So we may uh, make this a little bit smaller. Okay, so we expected crawler, jester, girl, forest giant. Perfect. And then jester, girl, blob spring. So it did work. And that wasn't like pre planned. I just thought of those in the moment. So if you type these things in and it's like, you know, slightly off or it's, you know, it's correct or whatever, but it's like, you know, based on the display name, we should be getting the enemy that you want regardless, unless you just completely fuck it up. If you completely fuck it up, there's nothing I can do, okay? Um, there's only so much programming that I can do here to get it right. The only thing that could be better than a, a sort of an autocorrect system like this is a uh, straight up drop down list that does not let you fuck it up um and believe it or not using this algorithm and writing this the way that we did is a lot easier than doing that drop down list so i apologize for anyone that was hoping for a drop down list with that said that is everything for today um i hope this addendum uh was super useful and i hope everyone looks forward to this uh we're coming up to a release in a couple days here hopefully uh early next week or early this week i guess considering when this video is going to release um where we have enough stuff in the menu where I feel like it's okay to be released in an early access state. Um, and I'm also in a spot where I'm comfortable fixing any bugs that come about because firstly, the code base is small. Second off, any bugs that come out, um, I feel like could be fixed somewhere that fix them everywhere and will help me. So uh, anyway, with that said, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day.